Hey guys, it's Snopey SCS, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Codecademy. If you don't know what Codecademy is, Codecademy is a website that offers free programming lessons for beginners. I would really recommend this to anyone who is interested in programming because it has a lot of useful resources and pretty helpful lessons. So I'm assuming that you already created an account, and this is the screen that you'll see when you log in. So when you log in, it'll tell you the last course that you're working on as well as the percent that you've completed in this course, and then it'll allow you to continue if you want. You can also see previous courses that you are working on, and if you click on it, it'll actually allow you to continue where you left off, and then you can see all the completed skills that you have in case you wanted to click on them and go through them again. So let's go ahead and look at different lessons that they have. So right now we're looking at web developer skills, and all these things pertain to creating websites. Uh, I've gone through a couple of these and I'll say that it's pretty good because it helps clarify a lot of misconceptions or confusions that a lot of beginners will have when they're learning how to do web development. And it goes over a lot of interesting topics, sometimes topics that you don't really cover uh, in the beginning. Uh, one of the ones I would say that would be pretty useful is actually learning how to make an interactive website because a lot of websites that you go to nowadays they're interactive they're not just plain HTML and you know they they're actually highly uh, decorated and stuff like that now as you can see there's a whole bunch of lessons relating to web development but as far as actually um, learning the the language and actually understanding it better I would really recommend going under language skills because it goes over more in depth about things that are just relating to uh, like the syntax of the language and stuff like that. So as you can see here, they offer lessons for HTML and CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, and so on and so forth. Um, a lot of these lessons are pretty good and they do take a little bit of time to do, but you know, once you go through them, you'll have a better understanding uh, than you did when you went in. And one of the things I really like about Codecademy is that the way they lay the lessons out to you it's pretty easy to follow and it's pretty fun too you know once you complete lessons it'll give you badges and stuff like that so let's go ahead and look at a lesson let's look at the html and css lesson okay once you click on the lesson this is a screen that you'll see on the left they're giving you some background information of the lesson and if you scroll further down in this little left column it'll give you instructions that you need to do. As far as these instructions go, uh, most instructions, they want you to do things right here in this middle part of the, the editor. And once you complete these instructions, you'll hit save and submit code. And if everything is correct and you follow the instructions correctly, it'll tell you that, yeah, everything was correct and it'll allow you to go to the next part of the lesson. But if you do mess up, you can always hit reset code and it'll put everything back to the default state. And one of the things I like about this editor is, you know, it obviously tells you how many lines you have. Um, it's got syntax, it has highlighting for the, uh, the language that you're using. And also it'll preview the results in this little white box. So let's say for example, uh, I do a paragraph and then I just type, I don't know, let's just say hello. You could see it come up on the right side. And if I wanted to view this in full screen, it allows me to do that. Uh, Two other features that I really like is that right here on the left side, as you can see, they had this Q&A forum as well as a glossary. Now let's take a look at the Q&A forum. Okay, so in the Q&A forum, a lot of these topics and the questions that people are asking are related to the lesson that you're doing. And I'd really recommend if you're having problems in any lesson on Codecademy to check out the Q&A first because somebody might have had that same problem and once you, you know, kind of see that someone else is having the same problem, you can read what other people said to this person to try to figure out the solution for your problem. And not only that, but I like that you can actually interact with other people that are learning the lesson at the same time. Uh, a lot of the people that come to Codecademy, a lot of them are beginners or maybe intermediate programmers. So it'll allow you to engage and interact with other people that are at the same level as you. And let's take a look at the glossary. The glossary, I really like the glossary. 
because this is something that not a lot of places uh, that offer resources for programming might really offer to you. And this is really something that will help concrete your understanding of the given language that you're learning because these glossaries will go over um, the uses of you know, things within the language. It'll tell you what it's used for. It'll give you examples. And you know, I guess it helps you learn a little bit more about the language because sometimes you can't really understand everything that's going on in the language just by trial and error. Sometimes you need to like look at the documentation for the language so that way you further understand uh, what's going on. But at the same time, I'd really recommend getting your feet wet with actually uh, indulging yourself in the language. You know, we're actually doing projects and, you know, you're actually experimenting with the language. You know, you're just seeing what happens when you, you know, write code and so on and so forth. And then once you kind of like do that and you feel comfortable with the language, then I'd really recommend going through, let's say, the glossary and understanding various aspects in the glossary because that'll really help a lot and it'll take you to the next level of understanding. So overall guys, this was my brief review of Codecademy. I'd really recommend this to anybody who's interested in programming because they have a lot of great resources. And you know, not only that, but a lot of the stuff on Codecademy is pretty fun. Uh, they have a good amount of lessons and resources now than they did when they first started. So if you just go to Codecademy, you'll be pretty busy for a while. I mean, as you can see here, I really haven't completed everything, and and you know, I've, I'm not too sure when I will complete everything. But it's a great place to go uh, to learn about some of these languages or different concepts, or if you already know about these things, uh, you can come back and kind of review the basics again. But if you guys liked what you saw in this video, uh, please be sure to like the video as well as subscribe. Um, I'll be posting links for Codecademy in the bottom and any other information that relates to Codecademy. But until next time, guys, take care.